God is our loving Father forever. He, through His Son Jesus Christ, has attested Dill Ministries International DMI as one of the most loving, exceedingly powerful mega church ministries that wipes the tears of multitudes with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healing. The blind see, deaf hear, dumb speak, lame walk, various dreadful diseases instantly disappear and all the tears of the brokenhearted are wiped away at once. Pastor, this is Colette. For three years, she's been suffering with the lump in her right breast. She came with that lump, checked herself, Pastor, no sign of the lump, completely healed. You can press it, you can press it. Yeah. Compress that lump. It's gone, child. Completely gone. You can move your body and everything, child. You are free, child. Lift your hand to Jesus. Lift your hand and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, his name is Evangelist Linus. He could not lift up his head since yesterday. He came with, came with that today. But when you prophesied the word, he received healing. And when he took the communion, he stands fully healed, Pastor. You are healed, sir. You are a great evangelist. Bless you, sir. Bless you. Good to have you like this. And what, you couldn't, you couldn't lift your head or something? You feel fine. You are free, sir. Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Reka. For yes. four months, she's been suffering with pain on her left arm. Couldn't raise it up without any, any, any difficulty. Now the pain is completely gone. Four months, you had it, daughter. And it's gone, child. You can swing it, child, and show this congregation. Four months, you couldn't do this, child. And it would have been awful for you. Who healed this loving daughter? Who healed this blessed daughter? Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Pamela. For two weeks, she's been suffering with a chest pain and severe headache. She came with that pain, and today she says Completely. the pain is completely You came gone. with the chest completely pain healed. and the headache also. It's gone, child. You can move your chest or take a deep breath or whatever. It's completely gone, child. Completely gone. Who healed this dear girl? Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Doreen. From past two, three days, she's been having severe pain from her neck down her hand. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you were ministering the word of God and called for its healing, it all Complete. went away. You came with that pain, child. With the neck pain and the pain in the heart. You can move it up and down. You can move your neck and all that just to show us and the world. And the hand again, child. It's fine now. You are fine. Who healed this dear girl who serves the Lord in this church? Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Macy and the mother Jelly. Both of them have a testimony. Ah, tell me. Jelly, sir. this afternoon had headache and body pains. Mm -hmm. And though she had that, she decided to come to the house of the Lord, and the Lord has touched her completely and healed her. All the pain is gone, the headache, body pain, everything is gone. And for this little one, little Macy had difficulty in passing urine because of the, the swelling in his mm. private parts. Mm -hmm. The mother prayed and believed God and is completely healed. You're fine. Lift your hand to Jesus. That is Mama's prayer. Lift your hand to Jesus. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Susan, you have received the healing already. Check yourself. Check yourself. Pastor, this is Susan. Through the word of knowledge, you call mm -hmm. the name Susan. She's been having severe back pain. She couldn't even bend or move aside. Mm -hmm. But now, as he was ministering, it all vanished away. All, uh, and your name is Susan, child. How many of you were awake to hear that name? And you came with the back pain. And it's gone, child. You can bend down and show me, daughter. You can move your body this way, that way. You feel comfortable. All the pain is gone. And you are Susan. Who did this to this loving child? Called her name and healed her. Everyone lift your hand and say thank you to Jesus. He is here today. Chandra, you have received a miracle. Chandra, Jesus is here today. He so this is Chandra. To the mm. Holy Spirit, you called out her name. Mm -hmm. She says she's received great peace and joy. Great peace, child. Your name is Chandra. God called her name. Jesus loves you. And everything will be ordained for you. Everything. Nothing will be left out. The peace and the joy God gave her. Lift your hand and say thank you to Jesus. Your name is Chandra. You and your house. You are blessed, child. Blessed. 
Pastor Ian wants to thank God that since he started attending services mm. in this church, mm -hmm. the Lord has delivered him from taking alcohol, drugs, and cigarettes. He loves you, son. He loves you. Loves you. You know how handsome you look? Huh? You look so handsome, so wonderful, so sweet, so blessed. You are ready to take on the blessed future from now. Heavens are open over your life, son. Heavens are open over your life. He loves you. And you are going to be a light Amen. to the dark world. Hilda, she has an amazing testimony. For 12 years, she's been suffering with a severe back pain where when she would bend, she couldn't come back up. She came with that pain Oof. today. Now she says, the completely, pain completely gone. gone completely do it again, child. Let the camera take it. Let the world see it. For 12 years, you couldn't do this kind of thing. You can lift your hands and give him the glory. Pastor, this is Jo. From past few months, she's been having strain and difficulty reading the Bible, uh -huh. which she has. But during the service, when while you were ministering, she realized that she can start reading without any difficulty now. And these is very tiny letters, like the size of a... And you can read them. Who healed her straight away? Who healed this blessed daughter, this blessed mother, this blessed handmaiden? Lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. This is Gyanta. Yes. Gyanta came today with a severe back pain. Mm -hmm. As you spoke the word and completely renounced back gone. pain. Completely, completely gone, healed. son. You came with the pain, son. And it's gone. You can do another one like that, son. All the pain is gone, son. Who healed this loving son? Who healed this loving son? Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, this is Mercy. From mm -hmm. three months, she's been having severe abdom abdominal pain. Mm -hmm. She came to church even with that pain. As soon as you pronounce and call for its healing, it's all gone. Completely. Three months you had it, child. Three months you had it. And it's gone now. You can just move your body or whatever, child. You can bend down and show, child. All the pain is gone. No pain at all. Who healed this blessed girl? Who healed this blessed girl? Lift your hand to Jesus. That's not enough, church. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Hallelujah. These are miracle moments now. Hallelujah. Sing it, choir. Sing it, children. Sing it. Hallelujah. The great one is here. Hallelujah. The great one is here. Hallelujah. The great one is here. Hallelujah. He will never leave you. Never forsake you. Hallelujah. He will never leave you. Hallelujah. Do you believe Jesus will heal you tonight here? Lift your hands and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, heal me now, heal me now, heal me now. I will be healed, I will be healed, I will be healed. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, by your stripes, by your stripes, by your stripes, I am healed, I am healed. My child is healed, my home is healed, my future is healed. By your stripes, by your stripes, by your stripes. I am healed. I am healed. My future is healed. My home is healed. I am healed by your stripes. He loves you. That father couldn't believe. He said, please, before my son dies, you come. Jesus spoke the word. It can be any situation in your life. If you are the one who prays every time, Jesus, my prayer is that you, I, and you to be one all the time. I am one in you, Lord. One with the Father. One with the Son, Jesus. If that is your prayer, my loving children, you can speak to any mountain and it shall move. Mark Levin 
verse 23. He loves you. You can be the master of every moment in your life. You can be the master of every moment of your life. You can be, because he says, I have given you the authority, Luke 10 verse 19, to trample on serpents and scorpions. My beloved, it's, it's for those who long for him. It's for those who long for the Holy Spirit. Oh, John 20, verse number 21, as my father sent me, I send you. My loving children, he has given us this, that same power is available at your disposal and mine. But on one condition, that you and I, you and I, you and I say, God, it's you that I need. It's your joy. It's your praise. It's your honor. It's your glory that I want to be one with you. I am nothing, God. I just want to be one with you, seen in you all the time with you. My loving children, my beloved, such people can just say, and what happened when Jesus said will happen when they say. It's available for all. It's available for all. Only a few reach up to that place. Let that few be you and mine in Jesus' name. You can master every moment of your life. By here, Jesus said, go, your son liveth. He said, go, you can speak, and it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Mark 11, verse number 23, whatever you say will happen to you. My loving children, my bitch, this is, I'm not a motivational speaker. I don't just encourage you to say I want Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce, and you will have Rolls Royce. Your neighbor will have, you won't have. It'll come near your house, but stop. I'm not a motivational preacher. I'm the powerful gospel preacher. He needs your obedience and my obedience. He needs your faithful commitment and my faithful commitment. He, he, we must be people whom he can trust with his power. He is, we must be people whom he can trust with his great power. It's available. It's available for you and me. But we must get to that place where we can be trusted with that great power. That when we speak, it will happen. And we will just, I am just a, an un, unprofitable servant, Lord. Girding my loins. I have just done what you have asked me to do. And I stand aside for the glory of Jesus. For the praises of Jesus. Lift your hands to him. For such, he can trust the power. The power is available for everyone, all servants of God, every ministry. But it is for those whom he can trust, he will release the power. Because every gift works according to the will of the Holy Spirit. So, my loving, we must get to the place, you and I, where he can trust us. Where we can, if we are faithful with little, he can trust us with more. If we are faithful in our natural secular job, he will trust us with his heavenly job in a greater way. My loving children, if you are faithful to your earthly boss in an honest way, one day God will make you work for the one and only heavenly boss himself. He can trust you with his power. Power is not given to anyone and everyone who shouts and screams and falls and runs and sometimes you don't know whether you are in a zoo or in a church. God bless everyone. We can't make a mockery of God's house. We, it's a solemn place of, of great, I would, piousness and purity, beloved. Don't take the Holy Spirit so easily. Church is a God's holy house. Everything must have. It's not music and dancing and this and that. My loving, I beg of you. My, he's coming for a church. In Philadelphia, Philadelphia Church, Revelations 3, 7 to 13. 
my loving children, you and I and every blessed church here or anywhere, we must endeavor to be like that. Revelation 3, verse 7 to 13. We must be likened unto the Philadelphia church, a church of love, a church of faithfulness, a church of purity, a church of power, beloved. My loving children, God loves everyone. He loves us. He loves us. He loves us. He is here tonight. He wants you and I. My, he wants us to become a people whom he can trust. Whom he can trust. Whom he can trust. So his greatness, his every piece of his, his joy, his power, his, the treasures of heaven will be made available at your disposal and mine in these years until rapture. We must be faithful in everything. We must be faithful in our home, in our family, in our workplace, to our bosses, my loving children, to any place, faithfulness, faithfulness. How they are doesn't matter. God will be on your side always. What I am telling you, God is opening the door how you can receive, how you can receive the great power of God. He is here tonight. He loves you. He is here tonight. He loves you. So, my loving children, Jesus said, Go thy way, your son laboured. Nothing, no death, no sickness, no fear, nothing can rise against your life or my life. You can master every moment of your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. He is here tonight. The Father believed the word. He believed the word. He believed the power of God. He believed the works of Jesus. He said, your son liveth. He didn't say, go, I will pray for you. He will say, go, father, heal his son, give life to his son. He didn't say that kind of thing. He said, go thy way. Your son liveth. He spoke over every work of the defeated devil. You can do it, my loving children. You can do it. We can do it. How many of you believe tonight? Lift your hand to Jesus. You can master every moment of your life. He has given you that authority. When you and I come to that place where he can trust us, more than we trust, we must get to that place. This is my beloved son. As how he told Jesus, you and I must receive that testimony. This is my beloved son. This is my beloved daughter. I can trust my son. I can trust my daughter. Oh, he is here tonight. Faithful in everything in money matters. Faithful in everything in character. Faithful in everything. My loving children, your words. You and I, faithful. Then the great power flows into our life, beloved. He loves you. You and I and all must come to that place. Go thy way, your son liveth. The father believed the word and went his way. While going, the servants came and told him, your son liveth, your son liveth. The words of Jesus masters every situation. The words of Jesus, my beloved, is above every situation of your life and my life. Believe, believe, believe. He submitted to the word. He didn't stand there and say, pray for me, pray for me. When a great, true, anointed man or woman of God may just... Just tell you, Jesus loves you. Go, it's done for you. Take that word because you don't know where he or she is at the mountain of God. Just take that word. They won't be like other people. Come, I will pray for you. We will agree with each other. That's all fine. They have passed that stage. They have climbed the mountain. They have sacrificed much even though they are worth nothing. And when they say Jesus loves you, the whole of heaven comes on your side. My loving great people of God, he is here tonight. He is here tonight. He is here tonight because he loves you. He is here and the father submitted to the word. He didn't stand there and argue and say, no, lay your hands on me. No, you pray the prayer of binding and loosening. Oh God, those all kindergarten. 
We are near Harvard now in the spiritual kingdom of God. When they see me, they run the dirty, defeated demons. In Jesus' name. It's not for, you just can't take that name and use it the way you want and behave and live a life the way you want and then use that name. And you get tired and the dirty, defeated devil is going to sleep. Nothing happens. And then we blame God. Are you a person whom Jesus can trust with his power? Are you a person whom Jesus can trust with his power? He purchased for you and me with his blood. It cost him his life to bring the Holy Spirit into your life and my life. It cost him his life to forgive your sin and my sin. It cost him his life to remove death and curse from our lives. It cost him his life to stop you and me from going to hell and heading for heaven. My loving child, it's not music and dancing that brings the power of God. It's the great power of the Holy Spirit with a sacrificial ministry that brings the power of God. Oh, beloved ones, he's here tonight. At the time of rapture, it'll be a surprise. Let all be taken up in rapture, I pray. Oh, beloved Jesus, he submitted to the word of Jesus. He submitted and believed the works of Jesus. He had heard about this man, Jesus. He took his word and went. He didn't stand there and grumble and murmur and say, no, I will go to another church where they get together and they have a prayer fellowship every other day and half of them are sleeping. They don't know what they are praying. My darling children, my blessed children, he is here tonight. He loves you, wants to bless you. He asked the servant, when did my son rise up to live? They said, yesterday. At the seventh hour. Yesterday at the seventh hour, your son rose up and he's living and he's rejoicing. There is life in your home. There is peace in your home. There is joy in your home. There is victory in your home. He remembered yesterday. That is the time the master said, the king of kings and the lord of lords, Jesus said, go thy way, your son live. Your son liveth. When the word comes, beloved ones, like how he was, he is yesterday, he is today, and he is tomorrow. Believe your problems are going to be over tonight. Believe your sins are going to be washed out tonight. Believe you will never be able to sin again. All those desires are burnt by the holy fire tonight. Believe that you are going to prosper from today in Jesus' name. Believe no sickness, no death, no disease will stand in your way. Believe no man, no woman will stand in your way. God will fulfill your joy to the utmost until rapture and eternal. I am preaching a God who is a father, not a leader. I am preaching a God who is not a motivational speaker, but a father to you. My God of the Bible of Abraham and Moses and Paul and Peter is a father to the humanity, my loving children. I preach a father who will go to any extent for his child, you and me, beloved. He is the father whose love can never be comprehended. He is the father who, who can never, never, never be littled because we don't believe. Oh, he went home, met his blessed wife and son, and they were rejoicing. My son liveth. And the whole Bible, the Holy Bible says, they all believed. They all believed in the great power in Jesus of Nazareth. They all believed in the great power of the Holy Spirit. They all believed in the great name of Jesus of Nazareth. They all believed in the great word of the living God. Oh, they all believed. They all believed. If you are a believer, what must you do? I have taught you. Tell me. If you are a believer, what is it that must be seen in your life? Yes, children? Anyone, if you are a believer, what is it must be outstanding and evident exposed in your life? What is it? 
praise. Be, you have good cheer, child. You are telling the right answer that the world doesn't know. Praise. Because the Bible says even the dirty, defeated demons believe. Is it written in the Bible? Paul I know. Jesus I know. Who are you? Oh, the dirty, defeated demons asked some servants of God. What is the difference? If you are a Christian believer, you must be a man of praises and gratitude. Praises and joy and gratitude. Problems can come. They can never remain with you. They will be removed immediately in Jesus' name. going to pray now shall we pray now loving father our gracious father our ever loving Abba father in Jesus name I humble myself and come to you the blood of your son Jesus even today cleanses us saves us and gives us the victory Holy Spirit we give it all to you come Holy Spirit take over and in the name of Jesus let everyone who watches these programs worldwide, worldwide, miracle moments, let them receive God, life and life in abundance. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Let them receive physical healing right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Let new organs be created in their bodies. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Let there be lives with peace and joy in these long years until rapture, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. Let every home, every child, every man, woman who watches or hears these programs be so blessed, Father, with life in abundance, victorious in Jesus' name, until rapture in midday are with us and eternal with you, Jesus, in our Father's mansions. Let every tear be wiped away. Let every tear be wiped away. Resurrected Jesus, my God and my Lord and our healer, let every tear be wiped away by the power of your Holy Spirit. Let them all rejoice. Let everyone rejoice in Jesus Christ forever. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen.